Ladies and gentlemen, Keith from I Repair Autos. Today I'm going to be doing a master switch or driver's side door switch replacement. This thing on a Mercedes ML350 W164 model. And um, so that's the part. The part's in the description below. And the tool that I'm going to be using is one of these upholstery panel removers. This is also in the description below. So with that said, let's get to it. So we're gonna be removing the panel and in doing that, a couple things we need to do. I'm gonna show you the really easy, clean, safe way to remove this panel without breaking any of the brackets. See this little switch right here? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna push these two in like that. And this little pin here, that little pin that sticks out here, we're gonna pull this out. And that allows us to bring out the switch, exposing the T bolt. Okay, that's step number one. Next, this bar right here on the door panel, we're gonna use a flathead screwdriver. And before I use a flathead screwdriver, I'm gonna wrap it in some plastic or some paper so I don't scratch up this door. So once these panels have been removed, right, these little, well, in this case, the electrical switch there and the silver panel here, you'll be exposed to some bolts. That's one, that's two for a total of three right in here. You're gonna use a Torx 30. You could use a socket. I'm gonna just use this long drive one and I'm gonna let this out. One of three. Two of three. And three of three. All right, so all the screws are out. We need to remove this side panel for the speaker. In this case, it's really a tweeter. Using your flathead screwdriver, go ahead and pop that open from the top. Go ahead and remove the electrical connection from the tweeter. Next, I'm gonna take this upholstery door upholstery removal tool to remove the door panel from the door itself. So I'm gonna start by sliding this tool behind here. And my job right now is to find and to peer in and look to see where the pins are. Here's one. Because what we wanna do is we wanna take that notch, this little cutout area, and put it right where the pins go that holds the panel in place. That's our job right now. It's never 100% clear where these panels may live. So I'll put that in there and I'll look. You will pop the pins out too, okay? You'll be able to see those pins. See how they're coming loose without being broken? You don't wanna break them because then you have to replace them. Replacing them is not a big deal. Now I'm underneath any real damage, okay? So we're working our way along here underneath. Coming around to where the speaker lives up to the back here, inside the door. At this point, all of the panels, pins are off. The only thing holding the door in place now is a little hook right in here. So I'm gonna lift this up. Lift this up and off, and, and off of this lock switch right there. You will find behind the door panel, a couple things that are still connected. This one removes the door switch, and then these are the electronics for the master. So what we're gonna do now is, don't wanna damage anything, so I'm gonna unclip by squeezing that and plug, unplugging it. That frees up the electronics on the panel. Then the next thing we wanna do is looking around and under. We're gonna unclip this hook for the door lever. 
See, that's how that works. Allows us to completely remove the door panel from the door. All right, so taking the door panel and laying it flat, what we are now going to do is we're going to flip it over and we're going to turn it over on its side, exposing the back side of it. And by exposing the back side of it, we gain access to this little cutout area here. And this cutout area here, you will recognize as being the panel control switches for the doors. So we're gonna peer in, and I'm gonna zoom in on that little electronic ribbon. And that ribbon driver in there, and I'm gonna press up on that, like that. And then pull it out like that. See how nice that is? Precision, guys, precision. And looking at the one that we're gonna put in, it has these little points of contact here for screws. Three of them, one, two, three, as well as these little clips. These clips are gonna be pressed in, but we gotta take out these three screws. Seeing one here, Torx 20. T20. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove those right now and I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's three of them, but only two are used, I believe. We'll see. One. And I'm going to slide up through here. Through this underneath right here and go up to the panel itself. So that's the other screw that we're going to go after. Okay, so the screw is in there. And I'm working off the camera only. Okay, now that both screws are out. I'm gonna get the clip in the front. Push it in like that. You're gonna do the same for the opposite side. We're gonna bring the door panel back upright. Exposing the front part and we're gonna just lift it out. We're gonna take the new unit we're going to align it correctly and we're going to slide it in place little by little and those clips that we just pressed on the opposite side just went click you heard those go back on the opposite side and by electronics i mean the ribbon cable that we disconnected we're going to connect the electronics so that's connected. Now we just disconnected two torque screws that we're gonna now reconnect. And the first one goes into the front. And the second one goes down in the back where you saw me do it before. Here's that screw. And utilizing my camera because I can't be both places at the same time. Either the camera is in there or my eyes are in there. Okay, so there was one other piece of business that we needed to take care of. This cable right here, but this cable, ribbon cable, hangs out up here like that. So we're gonna put that back in when we're putting it back. Ladies and gentlemen, reinstallation of the door panel. Some things to keep in mind. We got these panel clips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. We also got this right here, this little lip that has to go right up at the top and hang into the door. But we also got this door switch right here, this door switch lever right here that needs to get reconnected. We got the cable that we disconnected from the module for the switch control. And then we got the lock. So all of these things we're gonna to have to keep in mind. So back to the door. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is 
we're gonna wanna pay attention to this lock. I can take my hand, grab hold of that, and then taking the hook. Slide that in there like that. Put that in there like that. And that's there like that. Let's test it. Then take this cable down here and we gotta reconnect that right there like that. With all of those in place, grab here, bring up the lip. All right, so what I just did, I put that lip that I showed you all about on there. Nothing else is on, just the lip is holding the whole panel in place. None of the pins are in. This is in the right spot. That's it. Then I'll proceed to putting the clips back in place. And how I do it, I never force anything in. I make sure that all those holes are lined up. See that pin right there? I make sure that it's not going to hit. It's going to go straight in. Start, start with the one at the top. Everything should just line right in. Then I go over to the other side, top side, and I peer in there and I make sure that that's lined up too. Take my Torx and I'm going to put it right back inside. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reconnect this tweeter right here. And then slide it down into place. Cable. Fish it back inside all the way down out of harm's way. Next, we're gonna take our trim and we're gonna put it into position. Finally, what we're gonna now do is turn in the ignition key on to position two. What we now need to do is check to make sure that all the windows work. That's the front window, down. Only thing left to do now, take a nice little damp rag, is to clean up the panel. Don't forget to check. But that works as well. <laughs> Don't wanna be locked out. Hey, if you watch this video to the end, post 1736 in the comments. Thanks. As always, everyone, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful. What that does, it pushes my videos up in the search results so that other Mercedes owners, drivers, do-it-yourselfers can find them easier. Thanks and peace out.